Hey guys, Mechanic CG here and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport. Today is episode number 9. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Alright, so we're here for a, uh, another recording session, playing some uh, more Forza Motorsport. And uh, we're going to start off with the uh, Class D Championship. We're starting off with Road Atlanta, Silverstone, New York, and then moving over to Maple Valley. So uh, let's get cracking. Okay, let's get, let's get cracking. Go, 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 go. We're taking this, um, what is basically a modified Acura, but it's stock in this game. I'm not going to lie. This game is definitely running at less than like 20 frames a second right now. Either that or this car is just bloody slow. <laughs> but uh, this is a D-Class championship. So we're going to be in some fairly slow automobiles. All the way up until we start getting into the faster stuff. <laughs> this track is amazing. I've just realized we've got five laps of this as well. This is where some of the uh, race times are going to start getting... Fairly long. Come on, the little Honda's doing us proud. Good for me. I don't need nobody. That's no good for me. This is a tune. I love it. With a passion. I also think uh, recording audio is a little bit quiet. Let me turn it up a tad. This is where we find out that that was a very bad idea, and I've just made everyone extremely deaf. I think this used to be a Nirvana song. I'm not 100% sure what they um, sampled to make this. Whatever it was, though, it was good. Starting to get together my clips of me going through pain and dealing with retards. <laughs> uh, sometimes there's some... What game is that, Sinsu? Because if you're on about like Call of Duties or stuff like that, then yeah, Call of Duty's massive pain in the ass sometimes. Fair enough, fair enough. Welcome, new people. Welcome. Hopefully, you enjoy it here. I am 99.9% .9 sure that this game is just running at a very, very low resolution. Uh, not resolution, frame rate. Like, it is going extremely slow right now. But oh well. Oh, shite. Not ideal. We want to stay on the track as much as possible, preferably. Voodoo, voodoo. <laughs> it's not lagging. I'm looking at my, um, what's it called? I'm looking at my recording time, 
and sort of referencing it between my race time. The game isn't lagging, but it just has that feel that it's running extremely slow. I'm blaming it on the car. I'm blaming it on the car because it is slow. <laughs> That PC, the fan is just unbelievably loud. But I I have nailed it down to the power supply 100% because um, it was extremely quiet for about an hour and a half yesterday or this morning. And I left the window open up last night by accident so the room was extremely cold. And it was off for an hour and a half and then all of a sudden just started. So I, I've pinpointed it to uh, the power supply. Yeah, I, I will agree. The circuit experience is quite challenging, but I am borderline capable of getting gold. So... But they are difficult. They are extremely difficult. Like, if Forza were to do challenges, it would be, like, expert difficulty on Forza. Maybe even harder than that, to be honest. That's how challenging some of the stuff is. Um, <laughs> I would try, but I need to get my own done first before I could even think of doing someone else's. Because they are ridiculous on so many levels. Some of the circuit experiences are just so difficult. Oh, we got a wild soul stealer in the chat. Hello there. Welcome. And that is that race completed. Lovely. So we've got 6 minute and 12. We got ourselves 13 and a half grand, which is not bad based on the fact we didn't even buy a car for this championship. Okay. We're at Silverstone now. Benam benam. Benam benam. We sat at a stable 7 viewers though, which is awesome. Welcome everyone. Hopefully you are enjoying thy content. Fellow Twitch people. If you're watching this on YouTube, welcome. Hello. <laughs> Top of the morning. How's the uh, audio sounding, by the way, chap? Have we got uh, a good balance between microphone and... Car audio and music. Get a Red Bull, but have the Red Bull when you're starting to feel tired. Don't have it at the start like I used to do. Because it killed me <laughs> towards the end of the stream. I think we were actually listening to the Prodigy last stream as well. So... There we go. I've kind of actually forgotten what this uh, this straight is called now. But I know when... Um, not this straight, but the other... The GP straight is now called the Hamilton straight, if I'm not mistaken. Which is... Uh, it's kind of cool. There's a corner on Silverstone named after Lewis Hamilton. It's not a corner, but it's a straight, but, you know. It's like, um, Interlagos has the, uh, I think it's the Senna S. And then you've got the, um, Schumacher S for Germany as well. Uh...
Oh, lovely. I really just want a faster car. This thing's slow. Hey, no worries, Sinsu. Thank you so much for uh, stopping by, my dude. Hopefully, we can see you uh, next stream or later on tonight or uh, over on YouTube <laughs> watching the YouTube videos. Um, Sinsu, if you're still there, I know you said you're going. Um, I need to have a discussion with you about uh, Universal Beast Slayer, which uh, for anyone uh, watching on YouTube is a uh, stream team that I'm in. Um, just about future plans, because we have a big thing planned, but uh, I don't know whether you're going to actually be in one of those lead meetings, so... If you're uh, not free any time this week. Actually, I think you mentioned, like, tomorrow, didn't you? Oh, awesome, yeah. So we'll have plenty of time to hop by. I think I'm actually going to buy that uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Because Black Ops 3 is pretty sick looking. I actually quite enjoyed Black Ops 3 when it was on PlayStation. But I just couldn't get around playing the zombies with a controller. So, mouse and keyboard is the way to go for me. There we go. Very nice. 13 grand. Oh, we're level 19 now. So, we got a uh, discount on uh, modified and club sports suspension upgrades. Okay, we're here at... I think this is New York. Yeah, it is. Is that an alcohol advert? Uh, it looks like it. Alcohol for the win. Woohoo! Twisted animator. Honestly, the Prodigy are like a classic band in the UK. If you haven't heard of the Prodigy, then you're not from the UK, guaranteed. I've hit the uh, thumbstick there by accident. I've hit the wall there. I had to uh, mute my mic so I could cough. <laughs> there we go. Coming up to the roundabout. I think I'm most excited to finish Motorsport 1. Only because I can say, oh, I finished Motorsport 1 twice now. Which is pretty cool. But uh, technically speaking, this is the only Forza game that I have 100%ed. So it would be nice to um, 
complete, wow, well, like full the motorsport game. So it would be nice to go through this, start on motorsport two, and be like, here we go, we're getting cracking with motorsport two, and then do the same with motorsport three and four. I know three and four are going to take forever to finish, but oh wow. Well. So either Forza partially copied the New York track from GT4, or it's a strange coincidence that this, uh, this track is similar. It's not really a coincidence, because it's New York. This is genuinely what New York looks like. I think they based it off of a majority of um, the main strip in New York. Um, both games. I think the only difference between the GT4 track um, and the Forza track... So, whereas GT4 will have this layout, I think GT4 had this layout, but um, you can also go at the end, after taking that roundabout, you go straight on, go down the bottom there. Forza's extended route um, instead goes, I think it takes a left turn here, and then it goes left and up. So Forza's route is actually much longer than Gran Turismo's route. But there are... You can definitely tell with the two games, though, because if you look at um, Gran Turismo's version, there's nowhere near as much, like, advertising and stuff like that on the track. Yeah, it, it's... There is the potential that Forza was like, this is a good street track, we're taking it. But in all honesty, I think it was just because New York was such a beautiful track out of GT4 that Forza wanted to prove they could do something like that with their engine, and um, they failed, let's be honest, because Forza managed to run at 50 frames a second, and this is struggling at 25, but it's a first for everything, isn't it? I will admit, I prefer the Forza's long route. But I also do like Gran Turismo's short route as well. Here we go, coming up to the uh, finishing line now. How was your stream, by the way, M1, today? I know I was there for a majority of it, but how was it for you? Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. And here we go. Cross the finish line. Five minutes total time. And we got uh, 12,000 because we uh, lost the grand due to damage. Okay. Let's do this. What a tune. Hey, well, at least you're finding Elden Ring fun. That's a good thing. I'm sort of, um, yeah, RPG fan. I love Fallout big time. I think Fallout 4 is my favorite. 76 is a good online game now, but it definitely wasn't when it came out. Wait, hang on. October this year will have been four years since 76 came out. That's crazy to think about, actually. But yeah, Fallout 4, I've got... How many hours have I got? I've got three... Four playthroughs on Xbox One. And that's got a combined... My, my final playthrough had... Eight days. My first one had like... Four days. And my second one had three days. Something like that. Playtime. Uh, my PlayStation playthrough had 68 hours. And my current playthrough on PC is, like, fairly short. Barely started. But, yeah, I'm pretty excited. I want to, um, actually, on PC, just play through the VR version. But I don't know whether my ass can be bothered to endure it. Because I know it's quite a challenging game to run on my PC anyways. I think I need a better CPU, to be honest.
psychosomatic Atticazane. Quit the pressure. Come play my game, I'll test ya. Yeah. Play my game. I'm actually tempted to um, sort out a new overlay for my stream. Mix it up a little bit. Because this overlay I've had for... I want to say since December. So we've had it for about five months now. So it would be nice to uh, mix it up a bit on Twitch. Maybe think of some uh, more interactive stuff for the stream. Which, uh, by the way, anyone in uh, Twitch chat, if you've got ideas for some interactive stuff to do on stream, feel free to let me know. I'm all ears. I need to get a, um, what's it called? Bot software. That can link between YouTube and Twitch so that I can have my simp boss transfer over to my YouTube premieres. I'm going to do some research tonight on that after this stream. Once I've uh, gone through all the footage. Read with me. <laughs> Test ya. Psychosomatic Anakazane. We got a uh, two more laps to go. We got a one forty four point eight nine one on the last lap. Let's try and see if we can get a faster lap this time. On this lap. Nah. <laughs> I ruined that first corner there. Or oh, second corner, sorry. Let's try again. We can always try again and again. Oh yeah, again and again. Well, actually, we can only try it once more. And then that'll be the end of the race. I think this is the um, Pendulum remix of Voodoo People. It sounds like it. Yeah, it is. Pendulum is the best drum and bass artist that has ever existed. No one could beat him. Culture Shock's a close second, in my opinion. Maybe the Chemist. Chemist is second, Culture Shock third. And there we go. We got the win. 528, not bad. We got 13 grand. Very close to level 20. And I, I believe we get ourselves a car for this as well. We do, the uh, 2000 GT. This would be a dream car for me. I, th I think it's just stunningly beautiful. I love it. Alright, so we're here for the uh, Class C Championship. We're taking the uh, Renault Clio V6. Beautiful car. Uh, starting off with Alpine Ring, Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca, Road Atlanta, and finishing off with Sukuba. Alright, so we're here uh, around Alpine Ring. We're starting fourth, so surprisingly the car... Isn't as great as I was hoping. And also, I didn't realize how loud the engine noise was. <laughs> we got the Subarus up ahead, though. Oh, my God. Oi! It's a bitch who's pushing me off the track. Get your ass back here. Oh, I've absolutely cocked that one up. Am 
might have to uh, get ourselves a slightly better... Yeah, this Klingo's not doing great. Oh, that's where we get the slingshot. <laughs> not bad. There we go. Got it. Bang, 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 bang. Nice corner there. Oh! Keep it steady. We can't let the uh, the Subarus, the Subaru, or the uh, Mitsubishi catch up. I think actually the Mitsubishi's lost uh, third place there. I think the Mitsubishi went back to fourth, if I'm not mistaken. So. Not ideal. Not ideal at all. Yeah, there you go. we go. It's a honestly, the Prodigy is one of those bands that will be remembered in the UK for years to come. Oh, that's not looking so good. We've got um, yellow cars overtaken the Subaru now. Losing the car a tiny bit there. I need someone. It's such a shame that um, Keith Flint's no longer with us. I don't think it was long after this album coming out, coming out that uh, he passed away, which is a shame. Definitely. It's also a shame because... By the sounds of it, it seems like Prodigy has just quit completely. I'm not 100% sure, though. Banam, bum, banam, bum, bum. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Very nice. Awesome. That is uh, Alpine Ring done. Lovely. We got ourselves 13 grand. And we're now level 20. So we got a uh, 2005 Corvette C6. That is a lovely car. Let's have a look and see what it looks like. Oh, it's this one. This is a nice Corvette. I like this one. Okay, let's uh, let's get cracking. Let's get cracking, mate. Laguna Seca. I'm going to send him to outer space. Find another race. I'll take a brain to another dimension. Oi! That's not fair. Well, that also kind of wasn't fair. Oi! That wasn't fair either. <laughs> Great. I really got to try and uh, push to catch up with these guys. In a bit of a corner cut there. No one saw it. I just, I just really want to get onto um, Motorsport 3. Because Motorsport 3 had a different handling style to Motorsport 1 and 2. 1 and 2 had similar handling styles. So once we move on to 3, we'll start... Eww, being less of a pain in the ass to drive. Whoa, winged out the inside. That's how it's done. <laughs> I can see a couple more uh, corkscrew jumps happen in this race if I can't catch up with the Subaru. I'm going to send it to outer space. Find another race. Oh, uh, we're just out of slipstream range. Come on, come on. Oh, we got this. Should be able to catch up. There's not enough speed. This car's not very good at holding the speed in the corners, so... We're able to catch up slightly everywhere else, but then lose a dramatic amount in corners. That one wasn't too bad, actually, to be honest. See, I feel like I've got that corner nailed down from so much experience and so many cock-ups with that corner to the point I could whoa now that's how it's done 100% <laughs> not cheating 95% legitimacy sort of legitimate I think Pay close attention. This song was actually in Dirt 5. Oh, that's a shout. We could, once we finish the Falls Omega series, we could do a Dirt series. Because by the time we finish this, I can guarantee you there'll be... Dirt 6 will have come out. I doubt they'll call it EA Sports Dirt. I think they're just calling the Dirt Rally side of stuff EA Sports. But I think Dirt is still going to be Dirt. Did they actually end up adding a second year of content to Dirt 5? I don't think they did. 
Because it's been a year since it came out, easily. I think it was... I don't, no, it wasn't January. It was November, wasn't it? Or December, when the game came out. Not 100% sure. Oh, God. He got close. That'd be a good idea, actually. Because I own PC versions of all the games anyway, so we could have higher quality playthroughs of it. It's just at that time, I hope I've got a slightly stronger PC. Not that my PC isn't strong anyways, but it just means we'll have... Be able to play the game at 120 hertz and then be able to stream the game at 60 frames a second and record at 60 no questions asked and in theory we could even record at 120 hertz is that even possible on obs can you record at 120 fps man if you could that would be mental It'd be good for, like, slow-mo footage in racing games, definitely. Because then you could run it at half speed and it would still look like a smooth game. Come on, we're still in the lead, just... Oh, that's a good shout. I need to record this, um... Replay. <laughs> Nuts. Oh. We really ruined that. Oh, not good. Not good. Uh. Oh. Going through that corkscrew nearly ruined everything. There we go. Yeah. And there we go. Seven minutes and zero zero five. Not bad. Thirteen grand. I'll take it. Left, let's go. Up, let's go. And down, let's go. LTRT. Here we go. Rammed it up the inside. We've hit the back of the Subi as well. It's getting the slipstream. Oh, Subaru's slowed down dramatically in that corner. Oh my god, this one 100% is lagging through there. It's a real shame. Because Calyx and TB are known very well for their music. Um, but they're not very mainstream anymore. Holy crap, the Subaru went for a long shot there. See, this music would sound familiar to you if you've played Midnight Club. Specifically, like, Midnight Club 3. Because Calyx and TB had, like, an entire album put on Midnight Club. They had, like, 10, 15 songs. Obviously, Midnight Club is known for having, like, an extensive song list. And obviously... Oh, shit. I've ruined that one. Calyx and TB were on there. They would have their music featured on Midnight Club. 
And the funny thing is, I didn't even know Calyx and TB until I listened to it. It just got auto-recommended for me one day. And I was like, oh, this song sounds good. I think it was called Long Gone or something. I was like, hmm, this slaps. Um, and yeah, when I was playing Midnight Club, like, back in, I think it was, like, last lockdown three. So that would have been start of 2021. Well, I was literally just going through some old PS2 games and Calyx and TB, Calyx and TB all featured on it and I was like bloody hell they've been making music for a while then <laughs> I mean they're still making music now they've got songs that come out in 2022 from them so There's a really cool thing. So normally I'm not a fan of like smaller apps and stuff like that. Especially when it comes to music. I've always been like a long time like Spotify's the best. Like I hated YouTube music. I hated every single other app until I found Tidal. And I'm not even joking. It is amazing because you can... Spotify, I didn't even know i don't even know if it's a thing but if it is it's not very obvious but uh, on title you can find an artist page go to like credits and search up specifically their actual names so obviously the actual artist's name will come up on the songs and you can use that in a search in Tidal and find out every song that they've ever remixed. So if they've made a remix, but it doesn't come on their artist page, you can still search up with that and find remixes on albums that would never have featured on their Spotify page, for example, stuff like that. It's really good because you can find some of the best remixes out there. So I found some of my um, Nero remixes, Nero songs, because they, some of their songs aren't even on their own page, which is really strange. But you just search up their names and they all come up. It's brilliant. It's also good for uh, trying to find out songs from like people like Rob Swire, because he does some good singing for uh, different artists. So quite cool to find that. But yeah, it's a bloody cracking piece of software. Here we go. And there we go. Oh, this is Foreign Beggars. I was like, I recognize these guys. It's because it's Foreign Beggars. <laughs> There we go. Cross the finish line, 612. Not bad. We got uh, 13 grand for that one. Okay, this. I've got really bad hopes for this. So we've swapped out the uh, Renault because the Renault was shit. And we're now at the back of the pack for this event. Oh. 
All right. All right, little master. I see you there. Little master's sort of catching up. No, maybe not. I don't know. I don't think this is going to work. I think we've started too far back on the grid. Okay, we've caught up. We've caught up. Maybe we might be in with the shot. We've got no acceleration in the third gear. Nah, I've just thrown away all that speed that I just gained. Holy crap. No way. We've gotten past. No way. Okay, I'm ex I'm extremely impressed. How the hell is this slower than the Subaru then on paper? But I've just ran it up the inside of him. Okay. All right, that wasn't a bad race. We've still got two and a half laps to uh, maintain, though. Oh, Jesus. I hate this. We're the passion. Here we go. Oh. Oh, that nearly went horribly wrong there. Still got the lead, though, so far. Subaru's catching up. Oh, I don't like that. We've got to defend our place. Tell the Subaru know its worth. 
and to get your ass back. Oh my god. Lovely. Come on, let's get this finished. Ooh. That's been a uh, pretty impressive race, if I do say so myself. And I am 100% going to need a drink after this. <laughs> Uh, way too close for comfort. I hated that. Hated every moment of that. 13.6. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.